Now, 27 storm track weather with meteorologist Blaze Keller. That is an awesome birthday present indeed. Switching over to weather, it is 42 degrees underneath overcast skies. Winds are calm. You can see about 10 miles is what the visibility is, so there's no fog to contend with. But overall, it is a dreary day. We're on the northern end of a low pressure system that's bringing our second high risk of the severe weather season across parts of Mississippi and Alabama. We will not be dealing with any severe weather, but we may squeeze out even a few snowflakes as we go overnight into those early morning hours on Friday. Here's a look at that high risk there in the pink, moderate in the red. Again, this is the second of the season so far. Some severe weather seasons we don't even see a high risk. So already we've got two in the books. If you know anybody in the deep south in that area, tell them to make sure they are staying very weather aware today. Back at home, we're hanging out in the upper 30s to mid 40s, 45 in Janesville, 39 in Juneau, as well as Viroqua, 44 for those of us in Bosco Bell, as well as in Lone Rock. Winds, as I said, they are calm and out of the north, so they're going to keep us a little bit on the cooler side today. Unfortunately, with the latest drought monitor data, which was released today, Almost 100% of Wisconsin is underneath abnormally dry conditions with the exception of a very small portion of Grant County. So actually it's 99.6. So we do need the rain and we will see not only some rain showers today, but also through the overnight turning more over to a rain snow mix as we head into that midnight hour onwards. It is going to be light. Some of us may pick up a couple tenths of an inch of snow, but for those who are tired of the snow, we've been warm. The ground is warm, so we're going to do a lot of melting and it's not going to be sticking around even as we go into the day on Friday. As we head further into our Thursday, again, scattered rain showers are going to be possible, especially the farther south and west you live. That's going to eventually make its way eastward. So this is about 11 o'clock at night. Notice some scattered showers may still be possible, but a bulk of that moisture is going to be the farther south and east you live. Already beginning to turn more over to that rain snow mix after midnight. Maybe seeing some snowflakes mixing in with those raindrops, but by your morning commute, it will be moving on out of here. So don't expect really any slick conditions, but you may just want to take it slower on your Friday morning. We're hanging out in the mid 40s today. There's a look at your seven day forecast. It will be a breezy weekend here and there and into the start of next week, hanging out in those low 60s on Monday, upper 50s on Tuesday, and then settling more into those low to mid 50s by Wednesday. By then, though, things will certainly change, hopefully for the better. So just focus yeah. on really up to the weekend. Right. What I would say. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we've been getting spoiled with these beautiful yeah. weekends, so we'll have a split weekend. We'll deal with it. Some rain on Saturday. Yeah. Just relax Sunday. Exactly. Get outside and yeah. enjoy it. A little bit of both. Yeah. All right. Please. <laughs> thank you.